Hi guys, today we want to have a look at how you can use basic automation in Ableton Live and how you can use it in your tracks. This is what we're going to do today. To enable and disable automation view, press A on your keyboard. When using third-party plugins, click the small arrow to view the parameters that can be automated. Now you can see all the parameters of the plugin. The parameters are labeled with your function and a scale slider from values 0 to 100. Select a parameter by clicking on the scale slider. You can see a dotted line in your arrangement view. When hovering over the dotted line, you can see at which value the specific parameter is at. Click on the dotted line to set automation points. Click and drag one of the points up or down. Now the line between two automation points is the change in value of the parameter. To delete an automation point, just click on it. If there are no automation points before the first one, the parameter value is changed for the whole region before the first automation point. Hover over an automated region, press Option and drag the line to bend it. Here is an example of what it sounds like. In your plugin window, Right-click on one of the parameters to open the drop-down menu. Here you have the option to delete the automation as well. Double-click on your clip. In the Envelope section, select one of the plugins. The dotted line appears. Just like before, click on the dotted line and create a few automation points. Now you have created an automation within the clip. If you copy this clip, the automation is copied automatically as well. Just like before, you have the option to bend the line. Here's an example of what it sounds like. Macro automation. With macro automation knobs, you can automate multiple parameters at once. Right click on the plugin and select group. In the group, select the top button, which will show the macro automation knobs. Press Map. Select a parameter you want to automate and map it to Macro Knob 1. Select a second or third parameter and map it to Macro Knob 1 as well. Now, if you turn Macro 1 up or down, all the map parameter values will change simultaneously. In the top box in your channel list, you can see all the plugins in your channel. In the box below, you can see all the parameters that can be automated. A dot next to a parameter means that it already contains an automation line. Press the plus button to view the clip and multiple automations at the same time.
Using the arrow, you can fold and unfold all the automation lines. Live Automation If you want to, you can record your automations live while recording. Select the Arm and Override button at the top and arm one of the channels you want to automate. Press Record and Automate a parameter while the song plays. Ableton has created multiple automation points, which you can move around even after recording. When hovering above or below an automation segment, you can move the whole automation up and down. Click and drag a region in your clip. When you hover over the line in the selected region, you can change the parameter value of the selected region. When selecting a region, eight small boxes appear within this region. When clicking and dragging one of them, you can create gradual automations without having to create multiple automation points. Shapes. Right-click onto your clip. At the bottom of the menu, you can select a variety of automation shapes. Select the shape and press Copy. Paste it multiple times using Command-V. If you have multiple automation points and want to move them equally, select a specific region to move all of the automation points at once. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something new today and please enjoy the final result.